Look, guys, they're playing platonically. Oh, there we go. Kevin is evil again. Because he was a little orphan. Big Give it a bad butter. But Patrick here has been helping me hang all of these. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm going to be giving yeah. Petunia back to her little family. Baby Gronk in his natural habitat. Good morning, everybody. I just made this whole fence here by myself. And you can tell I actually did it by myself because of how poorly done it is. Master Oogway's wandering around over here. But I'm going to move him real quick because I think this lover boy is looking for his wife who now lives under this barn but i sectioned off this whole area behind the house for a reason also petunia's in the driveway because per your guys's vote on the instagram poll and obviously my own judgment i'm gonna be giving petunia back to her little family that she grew up with if you guys are real fans of the urban rescue ranch lore you remember that two years ago petunia came here because her previous owners basically had her in a little yard in their apartment that they were renting and the owner said you can't have a pig here and i also have this other cringe uh, uh, pig that was dropped off last week that I've been keeping in quarantine. Like I said, you guys, people really do just be dropping off animals that I don't even film. But at least these people called me first. But we're gonna be rehoming both of them to an amazing new home. After just five apples, they're both in here together getting along. And they'll be going to a great new farm in two days. And Petunia will finally get to be a house pig again. I have all the goats in here with Patrick temporarily. Cause this is one of the few places that has good shelter available for when it rains. And the babies have been having all kinds of fun jumping around in here and climbing on all these hay bales and patrick's been getting some good socialization in the cappies are loving all their new sod but i'm about to move them into that back area with the oogways mrs oogway is right here who i will be naming sensei ledoux or perhaps just mikasa because she's his beautiful little waifu but they both live under this beautiful little barn here and they've been getting very well acquainted if you know what i mean <laughs> but i can't show you what i mean because i got demonetized in the last video for doing that and before it gets real cold i'm gonna move the cappies in here with them so they can be close to the house and they can either live in this barn or in my house and i already told you guys that we're turning this little hobble into a wildlife rehabilitation center but because we won't be getting any wildlife in the winter and we still need a fundraise to get about 10 to 20 more of these little things and they're not cheap tonight i'm cleaning the whole house out and turning it into cappy bar land pooey pooey 2.0 and i'm moving these guys out of here because apparently every one of you guys is an expert at keeping axolotls oh but i knew you guys would freak out i knew you guys would say oh he's touching them that stresses them out i knew you guys would say uncle ben is killing them with gravel so before i even posted that video i devised a backup plan not to mention i didn't make any money with that video because i showed a tortoise pp -pee -pee for a quarter of a second you know i don't ask for much you guys I really don't. I don't run any cringe raid shadow legends ads. All the money I make from YouTube ad revenue goes right back into the farm and I paid for this whole house by myself without any donations or financial aid from anyone else. This is the ideal setup for Axolotl. You may not like it, but it's what peak performance looks like. There he goes right back into his little cave. And I've had this tank set up for over a week now because I knew that you guys would be running your mouths in the comments. What does it even matter how I store them? I'm gonna eat them anyways. They eat these little things in Mexico. They just fry them in a skillet. But here it is, guys. This is the culmination of all of the different comments that suggested I do things. But why buy a fancy smancy water cooler to make it go from 68 degrees to 64 degrees when I could just get some ice from my new fridge? Perfect. We'll just throw this in there. <laughs> there it is, guys. The ideal axolotl setup. And these other ones I'm giving to Sean because apparently it's too dangerous for them in here even though some literature said that gravel can be good for their guts but now that's out of the way i'm gonna be going ahead and moving baby gronk our new caiman out of this temporary enclosure and into this new one i'm not even gonna put a lid on it because it's real warm in here it's been crazy hot and humid here in texas for the last three days and with all this fencing even if he gets out there's no way he's gonna leave but there he is baby gronk okay gonna be fast <laughs> Oh, there we go. But this right here is a beautiful Culver's Dwarf Cayman, you guys. And look at those beautiful eyes, those sharp teeth, and this beautiful slender black body. 
Now this water's a little bit, oh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but he almost came back and got me. He was real close. But okay, we got the water heaters in here. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a lamp and then I'm gonna string lights around the rest of this building. And I'll see you guys after two hours of grueling labor. All right, everybody, it's 3 a.m. Probably 4 a.m. now, actually. I cleaned up the whole barn. I strung all the lights and I got some lumber ready to fix a lid for this thing. And he likes to hang out up there under the light. But it's starting to rain again now and everything looks real nice. Good old urban rescue ranch was built on staying up all night and getting cringe all work done the cappies are all relaxing out here but everything's starting to look real good out here at night and old the baby loves to just grab on these little ropes after that i spent about an hour and a half cleaning up trash fixing the lights and picking up the things the animals had strewn about well 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 <laughs> But Patrick here has been helping me hang all of these lights. Baby Gronk in his natural habitat. All right, everybody, I finally cleaned my whole house. Don't mind that, I was eating hummus in bed. But after I move all of these things from my house into the new house, this whole place is gonna be the new and improved Cappy Bar Land Pooey Pooey of America. Also, our little squirrel friend is weaned and ready to move. But boy, do I have some updates for you guys today. And for the last four days, we've been getting rain just about every day so all of this sod is coming in real nice and fine whatever i'll feed these axolotls for you guys oh that was so cute this is my first time actually seeing this happen in person wow you guys look at that but nobody cares about the worms i bet if they made a minecraft worm update you guys would be crying right now dang hypocrites the hero brian's eating his worm and steve came out to see what's going on come on fella take a bite of this oh there he goes he took it oh okay guys all right i see the appeal hey kids don't forget to like for a free skibbity toilet grimace shake in ohio Ohio, w Riz Giat. So this is it, huh? This is owning an axolotl. You just keep them in here with no substrate, a couple hides, and you feed them a worm once or twice a week. This was totally worth the $800 for this setup. Good gravy, these things are adorable. But nobody cares about the worms and their feelings. Back in the fridge you go, fellas. But all right, everybody, this is it. I'm gonna give you guys an update now that the grass is starting to get settled. Hobber and Queen are still in here for the time being. But when it rains i take them out and i put them with the goats so they can sleep in the bar and i take them on walks around town so they don't just stay in there all day the grass in the cappy enclosure is doing surprisingly well i flipped over this bucket so i can move it closer to the house now that i have the barn doors closed i don't have to worry about the goats getting in there and pooping all over the place the cappies have all the water and food they need here and once we move them out we can work on cleaning the rest of this place up and these guys are like my little gardeners they trim the tops of the grass but they never eat the root and they're only fertilized the places that don't have grass. So hopefully this whole area will be completely green by the next spring. These babies are doing really well, but they're still far way off from being weaned. And the cappies are still pooping on all this stuff, and this is gonna kill the grass for sure. This is a little too much fertilizer. But you know these guys are really healthy because their poops are little round balls. All this grass is thriving. It's all settling in super well. We actually have a pond here again, which is funny from all the rain we've been getting. Our part in turkey enclosure is doing really well. And honestly, we could not have timed laying all this sod down any better than we did. Old Uncle Ben can't remember when we had this much rain over a five-day period. And all the animals love it. They're real happy out here. Especially Mrs. DeBaby, who's just been laying around all day. The fish and frogs really love it, too, because they have tons of extra water here. Oh, and there's my spotted gar, you guys. But all these guys are doing really well in here. The minnow farm is also thriving. There's way too many minnows in here for the herons and other birds to pick them all off. And their babies will wash down the water waterfall to feed these fish because of all the rain we're actually starting to get grass in here again so i can graze animals in there after a few months the foot traffic from these ostrich hens destroys the majority of the grass whenever we get rain because of the mud but we feed them an absurd amount of food here's a big surprise for you guys kevin is evil again i don't know how it happened i don't know why or how but kevin is now evil and angry again and he tries to bite the ostriches it might have just been moving him back into this area look at this you guys i'm afraid to even go up to him now 
But old Uncle Ben stayed up till 5 a.m. last night cleaning all the trash in this field. And the only stuff that's left in here is just the wood. I don't have to worry about the wood getting wet because it's all pressure treated. But obviously all the grass is doing well here. I don't have to worry about Petunia digging out the sprinkler systems anymore either. Cause she's going to her old home now again, finally. We can officially start putting birds in this new enclosure. But we won't have any wildlife to put in there until next spring at the earliest. Are you gonna, ah! We've even gotten enough rain for this little pond in the back here to get filled up. Oh, sweet wampum. But all of these hens love me now. They all peck at my hand, which I guess is the equivalent to an ostrich loving you or thinking that you're food, I guess. And who doesn't love food? I have to be so careful filling this up so I don't pour it down their little ear hole. Obviously, if I put food in their ears, it wouldn't kill them, but it would frustrate them a lot. And these guys still have food in here, but it got all nasty and wet. That's the only downside to the rain. I do want to say really quick, I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'm sorry for not posting as frequently as I used to. Coordinating everything off camera has been particularly difficult in this season. So it's made me not want to upload as much and just focus on everything going on on the ranch. But I can't help but look around and be extremely thankful and think about the insane amount of work that went into taking this place from the dump that it used to be and turning it into a nice little safe haven for all these little rescues. But the baby got saved from being hunted on a ranch. Now he gets to be fist fought by me every day for the rest of his adorable little kangaroo life. And I don't think he'll ever be big enough to really hurt me, you guys because he was a little orphan. Fog is coming for you, Jacob. Bottle babies don't usually get massive like the wild ones do. We're gonna fix this pond up real soon. But again, I wanted you guys to know that I do thoroughly enjoy emptying my bank account on things like this to make living conditions safer and better and healthier for the animals. The reason why it took me so long to get sod is because I was waiting for the drought to be done. But hopefully with the sprinkler systems the way they are and this particular type of grass, you should never see this whole area just be dirt patches again. Even in the middle of summer and dead of winter. This is what the barn looks like now after I stayed up till 5 a.m. cleaning. I'm gonna clean all this out in a minute. I'm gonna move these cages into the barn. And that way, Ounce Topia will become the new capybara enclosure for the winter because they're the only animals we have that really need a warm place to stay all winter. Time to take Biggerton over to his little enclosure. Woohoo! Oh, you just missed it. I'm sorry, guys. But okay, I'll be taking Biggerton over to his little flight pen now. So he can spread his wings and fly. <laughs> Biggerton sure is in a good mood today. But he's got plenty of grass to eat out here and run around on. And he no longer chases me to the entrance anymore. He just starts eating. I also have a real spicy lead on a wife for him coming in pretty soon. But that's it for now, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my videos. Oh, don't look at that. Oh, don't look at that. You guys stop looking or I'll get demonetized. They're playing platonically. Love you. Yeah, I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Ah!